We have new information tonight about a man who died this morning after being tased by an Atascosa County deputy. The man's family says the deputy used his taser twice on the man despite relatives telling the deputy he had health problems. Myra Arthur shares what the sheriff's office is and is not saying. Atascosa County Sheriff David Sauer released a statement about the fatal tasing incident to KSAT 12, but would not speak with the media. In that statement, the deputy who deployed the taser is only identified by a first initial and last name. That's D. Kaufman. It was around 3.30 this morning when the deputy tried to pull over 54-year-old Macario Garcia. According to the sheriff's office, Garcia refused to stop for a half mile, eventually pulling into a driveway on the 200 block of Hollingsworth in Pleasant. The statement says, quote, the deputy made contact with the driver who refused to comply with the officer's commands. The subject placed his hand in his pocket and then swung at the deputy who deployed the taser. Garcia's brother witnessed the tasing and says Garcia was never combative, and he told the deputy his brother had heart problems. I was approaching all that, hey man, leave him alone. He suffers congestive heart failure. He's got two broken legs. He's got boats and pans, and he didn't listen. That was after he jolted him again and handcuffed him. After he was placed in handcuffs, Garcia was put in the back of a patrol car facing charges of evading arrest and resisting arrest. But a few minutes later, he collapsed. EMS was called to the scene. Garcia then was pronounced dead at 5.52 a.m. at South Texas Regional Medical Center. An autopsy has now been ordered. According to the sheriff's office, Garcia has a lengthy arrest record, which includes charges of assault on a public servant, resisting arrest, and aggravated rape of a child. Atascosa County Sheriff David Soward says he will not comment any further on this case until the Texas Rangers complete their own investigation. Myra Arthur, KSAT 12 News.